Hi everybody, Patrick here from EngineeringShock.com and ElectronicLessons.com. This is our tiny little uh, UM3561 UM sound effects kit. It gives you four different sound effects based on the sequence of buttons that you press on the board. Uh, machine gun, police siren, uh, fire, engine siren, fire engine siren, and ambulance siren. So, police, machine gun, uh, fire engine. and ambulance. The sequence is printed on the board, but we'll talk about that in a minute because I'm going to show you how to put it together from scratch. This is what comes with the kit. You've got your custom PCB, your 8-pin IC, 8-pin uh, dip socket, a 0 0.1 microfarad ceramic capacitor, a 10 microfarad electrolytic capacitor, a 2-pin terminal block for power, you don't have to use that, but we'll get to that later. Two resistors at 220K and a 10K. Four monetary push buttons. A uh, 2N2222 transistor, NPN. And a little speaker. First thing we want to do is place our two resistors. They're labeled on the board. There is uh, your 10K right here, R2. And R1 is labeled 220K. So if you don't know how to read resistor color code, use your multimeter to determine which is which. They're not polarized, they're resistors, so place them in either way and solder them into place. Next we'll do the capacitors. Our capacitors, 0 0.1 microfarad ceramic and a 1 microfarad electrolytic go into the C2 and C1 slots respectively. The C2 slot is labeled C2 0.1U, so if it's, that's your 0 0.1 microfarad ceramic capacitor. It's not polarized, place it in either way. Uh, you don't have to worry about uh, placing it in the wrong way. The electrolytic, one lead is longer, one lead is shorter. The long lead is your positive lead, the short lead is your negative lead. Now, from up here you won't be able to see it, but on the footprint there is a little plus sign, very small, and that's on the closest side right here. And the far side is your negative. The side with the positive symbol is your, is your positive lead. So you want to place your longer lead in the side with the plus sign on the footprint, and your shorter lead on the out, outer uh, pin. So make sure that you look for that. You don't want to place it backwards or else you'll likely blow up your capacitor when you power up. So solder those into place. Next we'll do the buttons. Your four buttons are placed in the S1 to S4 slots. They only really pop in one way so pop them in make sure they're flush with the board and solder them into place. You don't have to solder the terminal block for power but you can solder directly to the board if you want. But if you want to use the terminal block for power make sure that the uh, the spring pins are facing outward not inward and uh, or else you're not going to be able to mount wires in your terminal block leads. So solder those all in place then we'll do the transistor, the socket and then the speaker. The transistor has a curved side and a flat side. The flat side has the writing on it and you can actually see the 2N2222 labeled on it. Now on the footprint labeled T1 2N2222 uh, you'll notice that from a bird's eye view there's a flat side and a curved side. So when you're placing the transistor in, you want to make sure that the, from a bird's eye view, the flat side of the transistor matches the flat side of the footprint and the curved side of the transistor head uh, matches the curved side. Relatively easy. Uh, the socket, you'll notice that the UM54 or UM3561 IC uh, has a notch on the left hand side. You might not be able to see it, but there's also a notch on the socket on the left hand side and a notch on the, on the UM3561 uh, IC on the left hand side. You want to make sure that when you solder the socket in, that the um, notch on the socket matches the socket on the footprint from a bird's eye view, and so that you'll know which way to place the IC in. The notch on the IC should must face le left from this perspective. So once you're done that, we'll do the speaker. In order to solder the speaker on, you'll notice that there is are two leads right here. Add some solder to them on top of the board, flow some solder on, the leads are very big, and then place the speaker facing outwards and make sure that the connections between the pads and the leads are firm and uh, and then you should be ready to power it up. So let's do that. We'll get three volts on the input and we'll test let's it. Let's test it. I've got three volts on the input. Again you can use uh, two AA batteries in series or an LM317 circuit tuned to three volts. You put five on it and you're gonna fry your, your IC so be careful. Uh, let's test it. So S1 is uh, police. S1 plus S2 machine gun. 
S1 plus S3 is fire truck. Works. Uh, S1 plus S4 is ambulance. Great. So, uh, this is again available at engineeringshock.com and electroniclessons.com, which will take you to our eBay store. Uh, we've got tons of new kits coming out, so check us out. And thanks for watching, everyone.